Hello everyone. In the scheme of qualitative analysis of cations, copper ions and lead ions are the cations of group 2. Today, we will perform the test for identification of these cations. Our aim for today's experiment is to test the cations of group 2. For the analysis of cations belonging to different groups, the salts are precipitated from the original solution by using the group reagents. Precipitation takes place when the ionic product becomes greater than the solubility product of the salt. After that, confirmatory tests are performed by the reaction of these precipitates with the different reagents. When H2S solution is added to the acidic original solution of the salts of lead and copper, black precipitates of lead sulphide and copper sulphide are formed. Solubility product value of sulphide of group 2 cations is very less. Therefore, we take acidic original solutions before adding H2S solution. This is done to suppress the degree of dissociation of the weak electrolyte that is hydrogen sulphide and this is in accordance with the common ion effect so that the concentration of sulphide ions liberated is less and only the cations of second group get precipitated out. When we have lead ions and we add H2S gas, a black precipitate of lead sulphide is formed. On the other hand, with the copper ions when H2S solution is added, we get black precipitate of copper sulphide. Precipitates of sulphides of lead and copper are taken then for performing confirmatory test. For today's experiment, we shall require the following apparatus. We shall need few test tubes, a test tube stand, funnel, test tube holder, some spatula, beakers, distilled water, spirit lamp, dilute hydrochloric acid, hydrogen sulphide solution which is made by passing hydrogen sulphide gas in distilled water, dilute nitric acid solution, potassium iodide and potassium chromate solution. First of all, we will prepare our original solution. For this, we need a test tube. To it, we will add a pinch of lead salt and make the original solution by adding distilled water to it.
original solution of lead salt and add H2S solution to it. Let us see what happens. lead sulfide. After filtering the black precipitate of lead sulfide, we shall transfer it to a new test tube. lead ions in group 2. To the second part, we add potassium.
To the first part, we would add ammonium hydroxide. Ammonia solution is quite strong, so we keep it covered. of lead and copper ions of group 2. The group reagent is hydrogen sulfide in presence of dilute hydrochloric acid. On adding H2S solution, precipitates of copper sulfide and lead sulfide are formed, which are separated by filtration. The precipitates are then dissolved in warm dilute nitric acid. These solutions are taken for performing the confirmatory test respectively. Kindly note, today we have performed the test of lead and copper ions in the known salts. But if unknown salt is to be analyzed for the presence of cations, then we would follow the scheme of qualitative analysis and do tests for cations of group 1 first. In case cations of group 1 are absent, then we perform tests for group 2 cations as shown today. Let me leave you here with a small exercise. Why we should add H2S solution to acidic original solution of lead and copper salt. Secondly, write down the formula of chocolate precipitate formed during confirmatory test of copper iron. Thank you.